King with Remax in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And today we're going to talk about getting your home ready to market. So you're getting ready to sell your house. It's a big deal. And we understand and appreciate the gamut of emotions that you experience as you're getting ready to sell your home. There's a lot of things you need to be thinking about, and one of the things that we recommend is that you consider having a pre-listing home inspection. Why would you do that? Here's why. Nobody loves drama, and so we try to avoid that as much as possible throughout the real estate selling process. Here's one of the things we like to do. We like to recommend that our sellers consider having a pre-listing home inspection. The benefits of that are, one, it puts you in the driver's seat when it comes to finding issues that there are with your home and lets you choose how you want to deal with those. Two, you get the benefit of being in full disclosure by providing a copy of the listing inspection report to potential buyers. When you choose to do the inspection upfront, that allows you to see all of the items that the home inspector points out and allows you to choose whether you want to address them, whether you want to offer a credit to the buyer to deal with those items, or whether you want to consider a concession on the list price in order for the buyers to deal with the issues after the fact. One thing to remember is that when there are items on a report, some items may be required to be handled prior to settlement including chipping and peeling paint if your home is older and built 1978 or prior, where there could be lead-based paint, things like electrical issues, if there's double taps in your electrical panel, or maybe your electrical service is older and there's knob and tube wiring or other things that need to be addressed, this puts you in the driver's seat and allows you the benefit of being able to decide which items you want to handle and which items you want to just make concessions or negotiate with buyers about. For sellers who choose not to do a pre-listing inspection, the buyers will typically have a contingency period somewhere between 10 and 21 days is pretty normal, during which time they get their inspector to look at the property, make notes of which things should be changed, could be changed, or may need to be looked at as a long-term repair or upgrade that needs to be done. This totally can eliminate so much drama during the process when you think you've got your home sold, and in fact, the buyer's inspector points out all of, this, all of these things that need attention, and suddenly you're back to negotiating on a contract that you thought was already solid. So we highly recommend that our sellers choose to do a pre-listing home inspection, and we would be happy to connect you with some great inspectors that we've worked with for many, many years in Lancaster, Berks, and Lebanon counties in Pennsylvania. We understand that selling your home can be quite an emotional, experience and we want to eliminate as much as possible all of the unknowns throughout the transaction. So we would love to help you however we can with getting your home ready to market and on the market for a quick, smooth, and timely settlement. I'm Jennifer King with Remax. I live and work in Lancaster County. We also service Berks and Lebanon counties in Pennsylvania and we'd love to help you. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button below. Also, you can subscribe so that you'll get notified when we upload additional videos that may also be of interest to you. Thanks so much. We'd love to hear from you anytime and our contact information is below. Mm -hmm.